All right, so this is Cutlist. This is the program that I use to lay out my parts on sheet materials. So it's very simple to use. This is where you add in your parts. This is where you label your materials. So this is where you come to download the Cutlist program. I'll put a link in the description below. But if you scroll right to the bottom of this page, the second section up, download the executable. So it downloads a cut list zip file that you can open and then install. So I'll show you a couple examples here. So you click the highlight, right click, modify selected item, enter in your parts. In this case I have a 12 by 14 inch part and it is a top shelf. Click OK and I actually have three more of these. So I have four top shelves all together. So I want to insert slash duplicate after select it. And I can tell it to add three more. And there's my four parts. So I want to add another one. I can ha add insert before select it. And this one is 12 by 66. And these are my dividers and these are the outside dividers and I have two of those again right click insert before it comes up and you can type in so this is 17 and a quarter inches by 90 and three quarters inches. And this is my bench top. And I need two of those. So yeah, I've got it added as fractional parts. And over here you can do fractional, you can do decimal. So I won't bore you with adding in all my part lists. Uh, we'll just show you how to add in some materials. So same thing, modify this case I've got a sheet of MDF so 48 inches by 96 add that in I add those in one at a time uh, I've done this project so I know how many sheets it is and I actually need four sheets so I can add those four sheets in there uh, sometimes when you go when I originally did this I only had three sheets in and when the problem came back the search for solutions I needed more materials so I just added another one in there so now I have all my parts laid out I have 20 parts in total and I have four sheet goods which are 48 inches by 96 once you have those in you can set some defaults here so your solution search mode Mine's a combination, but you could set it if you want it to the vertical cross cuts first or if you want it rip cuts. I'm using MDF, so it really doesn't matter. Also, because I'm using MDF, I can ignore the grain direction, so it, it, it doesn't matter about that. But if you're using uh, plywood and you want it the grain direction a certain way, uh, you would just uncheck that. But MDF doesn't matter. Uh, displayed solution filter I want the best utilization and you click here search for solutions it will go through and it will search for a whole bunch of solutions here so you can see it's still processing it's about 18 percent finished uh, down here it's found 36 solutions so the software has finished it found 36 of the best solutions now you'll see I've got my parts list I've got my materials list and I have leftover pieces and the dimensions of those and you see now we have a view solution so if you click on that here's my four sheets of MDF and the green shows the solution so if I was happy with this I can go file print 
it will ask you what to what you want to print. Uh, you can print your parts list, your supply pieces. So if you go into the hardware store and you had more than just say four sheets of MDF, you could bring that. I usually don't print my leftover pieces and I print my layout diagram so it's these so when you're in the shop you can figure out where you're supposed to make your cuts. So this is the automated uh, solution up for your parts list. You can also do it manually if you'd like so you can click arrange parts manually. It comes to this panel, your supply pieces are on the right, all your parts are on the left. You can also snap dropped boards up and left. So you can just put it on here and it snaps it into place. Big piece on there. Also if you wanted to rotate your part, all you do is right click on it and it rotates the part click on it again it keeps it keeps rotating it you can scroll this down get all your other parts so there's a, a better example of a rotate however this piece is too long to fit on that side you can just drag them on also if you wanted to do a combination of search for solutions and arrange parts manually or if you just wanted to arrange the parts manually yourself uh, what you can do is hit search solutions it's already found 26 solutions. You can hit stop. There's the solutions page. You come back to setup, hit arrange parts manually, paste program solution. So that's what it found. And then you can make your changes from there. So if you didn't want to, you wanted to save a larger piece down here, you could move these to another sheet. You could also save your user solution if you would like. In this case, I've already done my project, so I don't need a user solution. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, if you'd like updates on when I produce more videos, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.